Okay, Marty. What did you do that was so bad you don't want anyone else in the world to know? Forget the high road. I am going to listen to every single word that Psycho Marty said to her therapist. She didn't want the wrong person to hear it? Well, too damn bad. I'm so glad you were here. Brody. I didn't mean to startle you. No, don't worry about it. What, what, what's wrong? Tess married Cutter Wentworth. I was picking up my phone now. So then Tess knocked Ford out and ran over to Cutter's. And somehow they managed to get her marriage to Ford annulled in time for them to get married. So he can't commit her? No, he was about to. He was ready to call when she knocked him out. Oh, my God, Brody. I mean, how is Jessica ever supposed to come back if she can't get help? We're going to convince Cutter to do it. I don't think it's that simple. Well, wasn't Cutter with Tess the last time that Jessica fought her way out? He was. And there was another time I found them together. And he said he was just trying to see if he could get Jessica to come out again. So? Maybe that's what he's trying to do now. I don't think so. I, I, w I was wanting to give the guy the benefit of the doubt, but you should have seen him last night, Natalie. He was so smug. But the guy doesn't give a damn about Jessica, and I'm sure he doesn't care about Tess either. So why did he marry her? I have no idea. Listen, found Tess at Cutter's motel room. It was just so strange. And there I was, with one of Tess's husbands on my right, and the other one on my left, and there she was, looking so much like Jessica. And all I could think about was when I was standing up there at the altar with her, about to make her my wife. She was supposed to be my wife. Brody, I'm so sorry. When I look into her eyes, I think I can see Jessica there. And she's so close, but I just can't reach her. And now with Tess and Cutter in charge, what chance does Jessica have? What if she never comes back? I don't know how you feel. I mean, John's still John, obviously, but he's with Kelly. Or Marty, if you want to believe her insanity. It doesn't really matter who he's with. He's not with me. Yeah. Jessica's so far gone. I mean, she's never been more lost to me. See his mom. Oh, hey. There's my little boy. Oh, there you go. Come here. Is that new? Well, yeah, I saw it at Logan's. I couldn't resist. Hey, Natalie, about what happened before. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Oh, yeah. No, me, me neither. Um, <laughs> it's like never even really happened. Yeah, absolutely. Never happened because it shouldn't have. Exactly. You love Jessica. I want her back more than I've ever wanted anything. And I know you want the life you were hoping for with John. Yeah. Well, I think it would take a miracle for John to come back to me, but at least you and my sister still have a chance. I hope so. You know, my, my grandpa always had a saying, never bring a knife to a gunfight. If Tess tries to run, then you have to block her. But if she comes at you with both barrels, then you gotta fight her back with a cannon. I mean, you can't think of her as Jessica, and most importantly, you can't give up on her. Because you never know what's gonna happen. You know, sometimes, you have to do whatever it takes. Even if it means breaking the rules. Uh. Yeah, you're right. If I want to get Jessica back, I gotta stop playing by the rules. Even if it doesn't work, at least I know I tried everything. Oops. So what are you going to do? I have no idea. But I'll figure it out. Mm, I know you will. Good luck. Hey, Natalie. I just want to say... I would have lost it a long time ago. If it wasn't for Liam, 
and for you. Brody, um, about what happened before. Yeah, right, no, because we're going to forget it, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Was, uh, <laughs> me and your daddy. Okay, well, hopefully this tape will put some perspective on that kiss. So what is it that Marty had to say that's so important? Okay. Here goes nothing. What does that mean, Marty? What did you do? Yeah, what did you do? Didn't you say John and Natalie broke up because she was having another man's baby? Uh, yes, I may have said that, but that's not the whole story. Wow. Okay. I mean, could this be true? Did Marty really do something to break up me and John? See you. Like it, huh? There you go. Now mommy can listen to what the crazy lady did. Marty, what are you getting at? Sally didn't have another man's baby. She had John's. <laughs> 